everybody. What's up and welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? Well guys, today we are going to be showing you guys some red neckery. Yes. We have got a video <laughs> in store for you guys of a little home project that we made, some little DIY. And um, this is going to help you guys out there fix your guys' dirty, nasty, disgusting brown chocolate milk pool and turn it crystal clear in 36 hours. Yes, it's insane. I thought it was a myth, but it is not. We actually used it last year and we got it set up permanently this year because it worked that well. Yep. Stay tuned and watch this video. Oh yeah. We got you. So guys, Gary and I have been super sick this week. I apologize for the lack of videos, uh, but it is what it is. We are gonna be continuing working on the basement and we are gonna be working on our cabin still. But while we were sick, we decided to do this smaller project because it didn't take much physical effort for us. And uh, we wanted to have this so that way when we do get back to work, uh, the pool will be nice and ready for us. So Ooh, yes. we got some footage over the last few days of us putting this whole thing together and making it work and um, why don't you guys check that out and then we'll hop back with you and show you the results. Oh, yeah. As you guys know out here we are using a well for all of our water needs and just like last year when we filled up the pool the water is not looking very clean. Um, this brown is due to if you see over there that's the chlorine fill or the chlorine tab holder. Yep. And it's perfectly going around the pool. Yeah as you it makes its round. It literally has made a brown circle. It's pretty funny. If I toss this in the center, the middle will start going brown. Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. It'll start going brown. So you guys might be wondering and be thinking like, dang, your guys' well water is super nasty or something like that. That's actually not the case, but what is very common when you are filling up an above ground pool with well water is as soon as you add the chemicals to the pool, it has oxidization and that's what changes the color. It actually just makes the minerals in the water more visible and that's basically what you're seeing going on here. All the minerals are oxidized. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so what we actually have to do today is we got to get set up our uh, our redneck pool filter and we did this last year it worked like a charm to yes. clean out the water uh, we're going to actually set this up again today we're going to be using it this year and get this water to where it's going to be swimmable the kids are going to only have like another week left of school and then they're going to be on summer vacation so we got to make sure that the kids have some fun things to do so we can keep working and they can have fun playing and you know all that fun stuff so before we can even start working on the filter and get that going and done and everything and prepped we have to build a stand for it yeah last year we ended up using the ladder and i don't want to use a ladder because i want to be able to get in and out of the pool we want to use the ladder <laughs> as a ladder not as a stand Correct. for the filter so i've got wood back there and uh, i'm gonna make a little uh, stand for it yeah so that way i can go in there and uh be working good. For this build, we're gonna reclaim this wood, which was for the kickers, so we could form it out and everything. I'm gonna reclaim it though. Let's grab these wood out. I really shouldn't have to fight it too hard. And I can reuse these screws.
All right, so we got the stand pretty much put together. Right now, what we're gonna start working on is the actual redneck filter, which is essentially a five gallon bucket with a bunch of stuff in cotton and uh, some bungee cords. Yeah. <laughs> it might not look the prettiest, but I promise you it's gonna turn chocolate milk into crystal clear water in about hmm, a day and a half, two days. I'd say right around there. Yeah. Easily. You'll see. You'll Easily. see. <laughs> it's insane. So the setup that we had last year, it worked perfectly. It just wasn't a permanent thing that we could uh, run 24 seven. But this year we're going a little different. We're going to try to make it as permanent as possible and make sure that we can get to it easily and just do a normal thing like a normal pool should be. This is going to be its filter and I'm really excited about it because it worked last year and the pool is brown. It is getting browner and browner by the minute and uh, we need to get this thing running. First things first. I gotta get my uh, my fitting on there. I got two O-rings as well, so I gotta pull those guys off. Get this primed and ready. I'm gonna put this guy in the other, this way, have an O-ring on it, as well as this already be primed and set with glue to where I can come over on this side, push the fitting back together with another O-ring on the outer side before it gets glued together. And then that should make it to where we're not going to be losing any water. pump is pumping and it's pumping all the water through the redneck bucket but it's not completed just yet we are just doing a test right now to make sure that it's going to be flowing and flowing good it looks like it's flowing pretty good to us what do you think baby i like it i like it i like it it yeah. makes me happy we have no water standing it's not leaking should be a really nice year. I'm, I'm excited for this. All right, well, let's get the, uh, the rest of this finished. Yep, let's show you guys how the redneck filter is uh, really working. Yeah. Because uh, right now, it's just, there's nothing in there. It's not filtering, it. filtering anything. So let's get the filter together and actually have this thing start going from brown yeah. to oh, ah, we can swim in it. It's not going to look like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory anymore. <laughs> it's brown. Like, that, Augustus Glue. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice and that's actually a really good temperature. It though. is. It's a beautiful temperature, oh. but the water just looks like a lake or, I don't know, chocolate a milk, pond. man. Chocolate milk. It looks like a pond. It does. It looks exactly like a pond. But. So we're going to go ahead and add the materials that we need to remove the oxidized minerals. And uh, it's gonna leave us with crystal clear water in about two days of filtering. So this will be a process that we will follow up with you guys on. Oh, I'm so um, happy. But let's get to stuffing.
All right, so now that we know that it's running perfectly good and how we want it to do, we're getting ready to stuff it, but Gary decided he's going to add on a union disconnect really quickly. Um, so that way if there's ever any maintenance that we need to do and also it's going to make it easier for us to fill and um, remove the filling from the redneck filter so okay. yep so he's just connecting a union really quick and then as soon as he's done with that we will start stuffing stuff this guy as full as you possibly can. <sighs> There we go. I think that's about as full as we can get this guy. I mean, if I let go, it's gonna pop all out. It's stuffed, but it's not too stuffed too tight because you do want to have some flow. Um, and all we did is we took a lid for the bucket and we drilled out a bunch of holes in there so that way the water can flow out. Now, the redneck filter would work a thousand times better if you did not have to do this next step that we're gonna do, which includes bungee cords. But if you're like us and you can't find one of the five gallon buckets that with the lids that screw on and you can only find the pop on one, you're going to have to do this next hack. So that's what we're going to do because we looked high and low, could not find a screw on lid bucket. Uh, but that's okay because we got a fix for that. So now we got it stuffed. We got the lid on it. We got all the plumbing pieces together. I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy back where she goes. Like so. And now, we're gonna pull this union around. Get this guy going on here. All right. So essentially what we're doing now is we're using bungee cords to secure the lid to the bucket because when we start the filter, it's gonna have a lot of back pressure that's gonna be pushing all the water out. Um, the pressure will actually pop the lid off and all the stuffing will go everywhere, which is not what you want. So to make sure that, that doesn't happen, we just add a few bungee cords to it and um, it seems to do the trick, at least it did for us last year. Good to me. All right, well, let's uh, turn it on and see, right? Yep, now's the time for the moment of truth, folks. It's gonna take a minute. Gotta fill up everything. And here is the waterfall. Yep. Sweet success. <laughs> no leaks. And that is a redneck water filter. Yeah. Right there. Like so guys, that's our redneck pool filter that's gonna take this uh, well water that got oxidized by the chlorine and it's gonna turn it crystal clear. I, I mean, we didn't really believe it when we first heard of it and seen nope. it. Uh, but we tried it last year and it works. If you guys are living out somewhere rural in the country, you guys got an above ground pool and can't figure out why in the heck your water turns brown like this and you try everything, you clean it, you add more chemical, take away chemical, and it's very frustrating, try out the Redneck filter. It's cheap and very efficient. If we can build it, y'all can build it. Yep. Easy, 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 easy. So our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to let this thing just continue to run until the water is crystal clear. Uh, we will check back in with you guys with the pool tomorrow morning and you guys can see just how much it'll do in a, a short 12 hour period. So yep. once again, let's show you guys the pool. Chocolate milk. It's brown. 
it, it brown. There ain't no if, like, I can't see my hand. Yeah. In there. Until, oh, there you are. Hey, there you are. Nope, they're gone. <laughs> Look at it. I can actually see the bottom of the pool. Look at that, guys. Hasn't even been a full 24 hours yet. So the filter is bulging and looks like it needs to be changed, or at least all the polyfill that we have inside it. I'm really curious to look how bad and nasty this one is because it's only been like 12 hours. It's definitely cleaned up quite a bit out of the pool. So. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, normally you have to get like this polyp stuff and you have to combine all these things, make it into a solid to where it actually get caught in the filter. I haven't used anything other than the chlorine tabs and the Arm & Hammer uh, pH balance and chlorine balance for keeping the pool balance itself. That's it. That's all I've ever put in, or that I've put in here so far. I'm really curious to see what it is inside that filter because this is nuts. I, I still can't believe that this works. But let's see how nasty this is, you guys. So first thing first, I gotta turn off the pump. I gotta come over here and turn off the water flow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> you guys see all that nastiness? Like. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is disgusting. It straight looked like a toilet. Oh, oh my gosh. Ew. It's pretty nasty, huh, bud? I hate this. Take off all the bunches. Ew. That's disgusting. This is the top. It looks moldy. That's the top, not even the bottom. Oh my gosh. Moldy. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. All right. Look at go all throw. that that it's capturing on the sides. My hands are getting stained. Just by touching it. Like, that's disgusting. All right, here comes the true nastiness right at the bottom. Oh, oh look at all that. Ew! Oh, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> What's silver? All right. We're gonna turn this guy on. That is on. That is on. All righty, well, that is it for changing out the poly filter inside for the Redneck pool filter. It's awesome, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Tonight, this should actually be pretty much cleared out, if not first thing in the morning. Uh, we might have to change that out, I'm not 100% sure. I'm happy, 
It's only been 12 hours and it looks like it's already almost halfway done. I, I can see the bottom of the pool. I could not see the bottom of the pool earlier. Well, let's let this thing do its thing. So guys, it has been 36 hours since we set up our redneck pool filter. And uh, guys, I can't believe how clean it looks now after only 36 hours. Now, mind <laughs> you, all I did was throw in the chlorine tablets as well as the pH and chlorine balance tablets in there. That's all I did. I didn't shock it. I didn't do anything else. The chlorine levels, the bromine levels, all the levels and the pH levels and everything. They're right on it, Perfect. guys. So you ready? You ready to see the clarity? It's insane. <laughs> Here we go. Bump, but a bump, bum, bum. Clean pool. And that is after 36 hours of running the little bucket redneck filter. I promise you guys, if y'all live in a place where you need to use well water to fill your above ground pools, um, as soon as you guys add the uh, chlorine and all the tablets and stuff to it, you will see the water change from crystal clear to that chocolate milk color. And uh, the only way that we have figured out how to clean this water, especially this fast without the work and hassle and effort of brooming and sweeping and cleaning and all that stuff, that little redneck filter right there. It did the job, 36 hours, crystal clear pool. Uh, it cost about $30 for the bucket, the stuffing, the bungees. Um, and if you guys need a little bit extra pieces, it might cost a little bit more for you, but you also might be able to make it less as well, depending yep. on what you have on stock. So if you guys are in a similar situation and you guys have well water and your well water turns brown as soon as you guys add the chemicals, try this redneck filter it's very easy it's very affordable and it's very efficient yes. so we're going to leave you guys with that today uh, we again are going to be having a very busy busy week working on the cabin working on the basement um, there's a lot of moving parts we will definitely keep you guys in the loop for that now that we're feeling much better we're going to be doing a whole lot more oh, yeah. so stay tuned for that um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and wish you guys a very happy day. Hope you guys are feeling good out there. So until the next one, guys, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. Dude, I, I, I'm blown away with this freaking filter.